We're back. Reports of ghost sightings and paranormal activity are on the rise this year. Believers say it's proof of UFO activity. Directly confirmed by the Pentagon. So that is significant in and of itself how quickly they confirm that these reports are contained within their educational briefings. We've all been there. You're scrolling through YouTube at 2 o'clock in the morning and you run into a bunch of haunted videos like the ones you just saw and you ask yourself, how is this possible? Is this How did real? they get this on this camera? Fake? I need Where more proof. Where is the evidence? Oh something? my god, am I gonna die? Stop! You've come to the right place. In today's video, I will be watching and breaking down viral haunted videos that surface the web. Now you might ask yourself, who's this guy and why should I believe him? Well, first of all, you don't have to believe me. And second of all, I've been through a lot of paranormal encounters in my life and have witnessed some stuff that has allowed me to believe that there are other forces out there besides just humans. And to be fair, I spend a majority of my time studying this. The moment you guys have been waiting for, it is time to watch these videos, but first, there are three rules to keep in mind when watching. Rule number one, and the most important rule, every video on the internet can be modified to scare you. Rule number two, always think about possible explanations besides ghosts. Or in other words, don't jump to conclusions. Rule number three, always focus on what is not being focused on. Now with these rules in mind, let's begin. So coming in at number one, we have this pretty intense, horrifying, haunted encounter i originally heard the story and watched the video from a youtuber named bizarre bub so a huge shout out to him here's the story so a couple named crystal and damien had just got engaged they moved into a house and they were living there for about three months and apparently some things would happen in the house that are hard to explain i'm guessing it was things falling shadows footsteps weird noises all the common ghost speculations so they set up some cameras in their house to see if they could catch anything now i have a lot of thoughts about this story in general but i'm gonna let you guys watch everything first and then afterwards we'll come back I'll tell you guys my theories and we'll debunk if it's real or if it's fake. So the first video we see is this. So keep in mind, this was after midnight. Someone or something was knocking at their door repeatedly, and Damien decides to get up, go into the hallway, walk over to the door as the door is getting knocked on, and he kind of looks through like the little window at the top, sees nothing, he grabs a baseball bat, he opens the door, still nothing, drops the bat on the ground, goes back in the room, 
goes back to sleep. That's honestly one of my biggest fears. And I think that his biggest mistake was him opening the door, possibly letting in whatever was knocking. You have to realize spirits, forces, ghosts, whatever you want to call them, they're weird. Whatever you would expect them to do, they would do the complete opposite. So people like me and you would just assume that a ghost would just face through a wall and be into the house. But my guess was that they wanted Damien to open the door, letting them in so they could move freely around the house, knowing that they were practically allowed in. So anyways, they capture something absolutely bizarre on camera the next day. Check this out. I don't want to keep hanging out with your friends if that's how it's going to make me feel at the end of the day. Like, it, it feels more like... They don't mean to do... They, they're not, they're not like, planning on, you know... They do you don't, know how it feels to hang out with a group God. of people? And they don't even want you there. Like, like, they do like, want you there. Like, they they want you there. They, they like, like you. you a lot. No, they don't. They That's like, the only reason. They like, yeah, they like me. They're my friends. But they're, because they're my... But, but they like you a lot. They're acting fucking rude to me. They're not... They're not trying... That's just how they... Hey. So you see them having what seems to be an argument when out of nowhere a plate falls from where Crystal is standing. Crystal goes into the room, annoyed or whatever, and then Damien goes to see the plate and like two or three more plates fall off the other side right where Damien was standing. That is just like insane to me, but let's keep going. In this next clip, Crystal's home alone while Damien is at work, and this happens. Crystal's just on the bed, she's chilling, and the door opens up a little bit. That is super weird, but something even crazier happened directly after that, which leads Crystal to run out of the house crying. Damien comes home, picks her up. Crystal is crying in the car out of fear, and they book an Airbnb to stay the night. Yeah, we're just, so we're um, just outside because it's getting weird in there and we don't feel safe being in there anymore. So we're just gonna go to a, just an Airbnb for the night and uh, just for the night. And then we're gonna figure out they plan to not go back there that's what they say in the video but just like a horror movie what do you think happens they go back the following night to do something very stupid so in the next scene you guys could see that they are performing to do a ritual to bring out the spirit and ask it to leave
And just so we're on the same page, here's what happened. They went into the bathroom, obviously. They turned off the lights. They set up a camera recording crystal. They lit up the stick. They rang the bowl, which is exactly what you're supposed to do. And then all of a sudden, the shower door starts shaking, causing Crystal and Damien to run out of the house screaming, never to return to the house, I'm assuming. Okay, now you guys heard the story. You guys watched the videos. This might come to a shock, but this whole thing is completely fake. Let me explain. So in the first clip, we see the door getting banged on super hard and Damien comes out to check. And I'm sure you all noticed this too. Take a look at what he's wearing. He's practically fully clothed. Like I said, this is way past midnight. He, he's wearing like just regular clothes, like a flannel and like pants. I just find that hard to believe. There's so much more, so just sit tight. Second, if this was happening to me, the first thing that I would do is to wake up Leslie if she's not already awake from these loud ass bangs. I would wake up Leslie and I would tell her what's going on. Hey, somebody is knocking at the door, wait here. That way I know that Leslie is not going to wake up halfway through one of these bangs. I'm not laying next to her and she's gonna frantically run out the door and get kidnapped. But no, he walks to the door by himself because I'm guessing he wants to give that lonely, eerie vibe, right? He grabs a bat, he opens the door, big shock, nobody's there. He closes the door, drops the bat on the ground, goes back into the room as a logical human being why would you open the door under what circumstance would you open the door at all but the most obvious thing is how did crystal not wake up after all those bangs and then a legit aluminum baseball bat slamming on the floor making the loudest noise and throughout this whole thing damien never thought to say babe any like did you order food like no this guy just woke up out of his sleep to hear the banging he goes he checks it drops a bat on the ground all that and his wife is just asleep possibly like unconscious or something like he's not gonna check he's not gonna look around his house like nah he just drops it goes back into the room aka to close the scene it just doesn't makes sense so if that's not enough let's move on to video number two which seems to me to be the fakest they're having an argument in the kitchen but listen to what they're actually arguing about and let's use a little bit of common sense it starts off with i don't want to keep hanging out with your friends blah 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 i don't want to keep hanging out with your friends but that's how it's going to make me feel at the end of the day but notice how they did not use any names throughout the entirety of the argument she says i don't want to keep hanging out with your friends meaning they've hung out multiple times but she's still not using names as to who she does not feel comfortable around or who she feels like she doesn't want to hang out with. This is a conversation at home. I don't think they have anything to hide. Now, looking back at that sentence, I don't want to keep hanging out with your friends. That sounds like an opening sentence. That sounds like something you would say at first to start the argument. But notice how he is not shocked at all. It just sounds like he was ready for it to happen. In other words, I think that might have been scripted. They don't mean to do that. They're not, they're not like planning on, you know, they don't. You know how it feels to hang oh out with a group God. of people and they don't even want you there. Like, like, they do like, want you there. He just goes on to say they don't mean to do that, which is not a very strong argument. And that's just not how a human would react to their wife saying, I don't want to keep hanging out with your friends. The reason I'm so focused on their dialogue is because if they are having a fake conversation, odds are the whole thing is fake, like everything. Then he says, but they like you a lot. And she just flips and says, you're acting rude to me. But they're, because they're my, but, but they like you a lot. They're acting rude to me. They're not. Which makes no sense because he just said, they like you a lot. It, it sounds like they're not actually talking to each other, but rather following a script. Moving on to the plates. Somebody could easily have a string pulling the plates off and you're gonna see a chain of strings being used in this video. Not to mention, the first plate falls and Crystal looks at it and then just walks away, turning her back on the danger. Something that could potentially be someone that just broke into your house. Something happened. The plate fell. You're going to turn around, look at it, and then out of anger towards your husband, you're just going to walk away right into the room. That does not make sense. You turn your back towards the danger. Yeah, I would turn around and walk away, but I would look back and stand in the area and kind of see like what just happened. Now let's move on to the clip of Crystal home alone when the door randomly opens. First of all, after all this happens, I don't know about you guys, but the last thing I would do if I was home alone is lay on my bed, staring directly into a dark hallway. Now the fan is not on and I could be reaching here, but imagine if the fan was on, wouldn't that just completely destroy that whole scene? because everybody would say it was just the fan. It seemed too perfect to me. And lastly, if you guys remember in the first clip, 
They have a camera pointing at the hallway right by the room. Why didn't they show that angle? My theory is that Damien was hiding right here with a string tied to the door, pulling it open a little bit. Anyways, I think that whole entire thing was staged. Let me know what you guys think in the comments down below. I will be reading all the comments, but let's move on to viral video number two. So these two guys are driving up a spooky looking street and they find this house. So after watching that video, first off, I just want to say, holy sh**. But second, I just want to say that might actually be real. They drove up to this house. My guess is that they drove past the house. They saw maybe someone in it and they're like, yo, let's go back and see if we could see who was in there. Something along those lines where they drive back, they get to the house and they see that little face in the window. But remember, rule number three, focus on what is not being focused on. A lot of the time when people are recording fake ghost videos or they're trying to scare you, they think that people are only focusing on the figure, which most of the time they are. But their acting goes down about 50 percent they start saying oh my god what is that oh my god like not real stuff that you'd actually say or do but listen to this guy's reaction oh he says holy bleep and the other guy instantly says what? what but he doesn't say it like loud enough to where i would think he's acting he just says it kind of like to him like what like what just happened and the other guy just goes drive 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 Go, 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 go. They don't try to make sure they got a perfect shot of it. No, if it was staged, they would have made it too perfect. Now, keep in mind, I'm not saying that this is a ghost. It could have been a crackhead for all we know. But regardless, it's creepy as hell. Let's move on. Guys, real quick, before we continue with this video, I just want to tell you guys about the amazing Aporo brand. I'm sure you guys all know Aporo by now, but they make the highest quality jewelry. It is all that I wear. Their earrings right here, I always have them on. They're so comfortable. They're stylish. They make all my outfits. And most importantly, they make amazing gifts. I am always surprising my friends and family with Aporo, and they are always so happy to see it. You guys are going to see this Christmas, I'm going to be giving out a lot of Aporo because that is what my family wants. So sorry, Aporo, but there's going to be a very big order coming soon. Not to mention right now, they're having insane deals for Christmas. So if you guys want to get a gift for your mom, your dad, your brother, sister, grandma, grandpa, your dog, get it for them through Aporo because jewelry makes the most amazing gift and go with the only trusted brand, Aporo. Back to the video. Now, what I'm gonna show you guys next is a compilation of videos of people or animals just mysteriously found walking across like someone's driveway or something, and then they just mysteriously disappear into thin air. Okay, so as you guys saw, those are creepy ass videos. And a lot of people are like, oh my gosh, those are ghosts. But what's happening here has a very reasonable explanation. And I can tell you right now, it is not ghosts. So as we see in the first clip, the person that's walking by is wearing clothing that is almost the same exact tone as the grass behind him or her. This is because security cameras are not meant to have the best quality. They're running for hundreds of hours at a time and are meant to just keep running and capture a scene not perfect quality if you wanted to buy a security camera that's going to capture amazing quality you'd spend about forty thousand dollars just for one camera so for it to be a reasonable product that people are actually going to buy you're going to suffer a lot of quality issues a lot of the time you're going to be looking at different shades of gray when you're watching security camera footage notice how you can see the person walk by pretty good when they're walking near the camera but once they get to the other side of the lawn 
they disappear. That's because the camera could not differentiate the tones of the grass and the person's hoodie because it changes them to make it easier on the camera, especially at a distance. So that person just pretty much blends into the grass behind him. Same thing goes for a second video. You can see the guy is walking perfectly fine and then out of nowhere, he just disappears. But notice how when he's walking with a background, he looks fine. But as soon as he gets to that little branch in that tree, he slowly starts disappearing. But you can still see his head at the top that's because his head has a solid background of different colors. Now watch the cat video on your own and you can see for yourself. Now this next video is a group of guys investigating a building of some sort and it's in a foreign country. I don't know where it's from, but check this out. Cuidado, Judá. Cuidado, mano. Que que é isso, mano? Caralho, mano, que que é isso, bicho? Caralho, mano. Mano, que que é isso, bicho? Caralho, mano, bora, mano. Eu me livre, mano. Vai, mano, vai, vai, mano. Vai, mano, vai, mano. Vai, vai, mano. Vai, vai, mano. <risos> Now, I don't have much to say about this video besides I really, really think that's real. You would think if they were faking it, like these guys all have guns, dude. If they were faking it, I think they would maybe one of them would try to look a little more manly than the other. But no, dude, they're running away from the building in like absolute fear. And anyone who will say the door moving forward and backwards is just the wind look at the quality of the video it's obviously being shot with a low quality camera or most likely a phone and that thing does not have a wind muffler on it you would hear the wind very easily in the mic of the phone take a look at this Caralho, man. you guys saw when he turned the camera just that gust of wind of him turning the camera you hear the wind go like crazy so you should be able to easily hear it when he's just recording the door opening and closing Mano, que que é isso, bicho? I get so happy when I see videos like these because when I know they're real, I know other people out there will also know they're real and hopefully start investigating this and finding out more stuff about it. People that have more capabilities than I do and we'll find out more about these unknown forces or spirits or aliens or whatever it is. Now let's move on to the last video, which in my opinion is the creepiest. I have to sneeze. It won't come. No. Oh, it was about to be a crazy sneeze. So a YouTuber by the name of Urbex Hill went to explore this abandoned warehouse. Now his first video that he uploaded on this, you can clearly see that something or someone or whatever was watching him. But for whatever reason, like every YouTuber does, he went back for a part two. He pretty much does exactly what he did in the first video and explores like the same way. He's hoping to catch a ghost here. He sets up an infrared camera and then he has a handheld camera on himself. He walks down the stairwell and he's looking down this insanely creepy looking hallway, but look what happens. Wow, yeah, it's really, it's still really cold in here. Look, you can see my breath now, look. Like, that's how you know I'm not lying. But look, I'll do it out here. You don't see my breath. But as soon as you come in here, oh my God, it's freezing. As soon as you come in here. I don't know if the camera can see that, I hope so. But that's crazy. That is absolutely terrifying because that is something that is not controlled. I mean, he could not have possibly turned that hallway into a freezer. That is the spirits literally changing the matter of earth, which has happened before. My theory is that a spirit or spirits, judging by what happens later in the video to this guy, took over that land and made it their own. And they are not happy with him being there because look at this. That's creepy. 
They're literally like whispering to each other or they're like whispering at him. That's crazy. Anyways, he's walking to another section of the underground of the building and he walks into this like room or whatever and he looks up at this at these grates and look what happens. Something obviously fell on top of the grate, causing him to run in fear. And when I watch videos like these, I'm always thinking about how can this be fake? How can I find out if this is real or not? I'm gonna watch this 50 times if I need to. Most of the time, it's someone helping them by dropping stuff or making noises or whatever. But when I saw what fell on the grate, all those theories just vanished. How can anyone drop that massive box from anywhere? And you don't hear running. You don't even hear the box sliding off. It just kind of up and just drops on the grates. Another thing, those are rusty ass grates. You think that guy trusted those grates to stop this box from falling and crushing him if this was planned? No. Now what you're gonna see here literally gave me the chills. My first instinct was, this is a green screen shadow. But when I saw what happened next, I believed everything in the video. You can see he's sitting here waiting for something to happen and check this out. Oh my god, he literally flew off of the crate he was sitting on. I promise you that does not just randomly happen. I, I can assure you that is almost impossible to do. The only way that could have been fake is if he had used a harness under his shirt or whatever and got pulled off the thing. That's what I was thinking at least. But look at the force in which he was dragged off of the crate. It would take an insane amount of pressure to rip him off that hard. All I could think of was maybe it was attached to a car and the car just floored it and just swung him off. But dude, you don't hear an engine, nothing. It had to be real. Single-handedly, one of the most terrifying videos I've ever seen because it is unexplainable. If for whatever reason, this video gets 100,000 likes, I will personally contact Urbex and interview him about what really happened that night and how he was feeling and the whole backstory about it. And if I hit 1.2 million subscribers before the end of the year, I will go there and explore it for myself. Thank you guys so much for watching the video. If you guys want to see more videos like this, please make sure you guys comment down below. Hit that like button. Subscribe if you are new. It's been your boy, Sherman the Vermin. Shermanation, the greatest nation. I'll see you guys in the next video. Peace.